Hi folks, Brian here. We've got the uh, Warwick motor installed with a new fan and fan housing. I'll show you. It's all in there. Um, um, we just got to wait for, we ordered some new screws for the bottom plate that goes on in the holds uh, new screws for the motor. So once we get those, we'll finish putting the work back together. But um, she's got a new motor in her. Just wanted to show you what the finished product looks like. There's the motor. It's got three wires. We had the wire in. Look at that, brand new. There's the old motor. Part of it, what's left of it. You can see there's a lot of rust on there. And that was probably partly why that motor was wearing out it was it was getting tired this motor is brand new um, the way that the motor works is you put the roller brush in the front and you, you connect the um, belt to the roller brush to the uh, shaft of the motor and that's how you install a belt on an auric you can take this side cover off to make it easier but um, we um, Got the Oric motor installed. We got it mostly put back together. Just got to put the handle in. Got to put a new bag and roller brush on it. And this Oric will be fine. Will be all set to go. Um, but just wanted to show you. Uh, we had to rewire it again, but we got it right. Uh, powered up. One of the wires was coming loose. That one, but we fixed it. And um, the the motor's installed. So this Oric. Um, has a brand spanking new motor in her. Look at that. So um, once we get the screws in the mail, we'll finish putting this vacuum cleaner back together. But the hardest part, which is the motor, has been put back in it. So it's got a brand new motor, and there's the new belt we're going to install too. So, yep, there you have it. Brand new motor in the Oric XL21.